two, three. What are we doing? Preston sits. Got to watch. And he watches. You want to sit over there? Yeah. Mostly. Okay, sit down. He watches. Now you can watch, okay? The things he and his family have collected over his 12 years. What are we doing? are being boxed up and moved far away. See you in Colorado, Boxy. Preston doesn't really understand why. He's sort of a little boy trapped in his body is what he is, you know, but that's okay. Right now he's on a two to three year old level. He doesn't know his address. He can't read. He can't write. He can't, he can't even draw a circle. And Preston's condition hasn't improved in the last few months. He's still very seizury, um, very blinky. You notice what she said second, but it's what she said first that matters most. Those constant blinks aren't Preston clearing his eyes. They are seizures. What's Forrest doing? He has a condition called Dravet syndrome a severe form of epilepsy which produces dozens, even hundreds of seizures a day. That is stunting his neural development and his doctor at UNC School of Medicine has run out of tools to fight it. He literally has been treated with every anticonvulsant that we have. Come on in. And we truly have not found anything that would control his seizures. Hey. Hey. So his mother, Anna. Absolutely. Come on, silly. Is desperate to find something while there's still time for his brain to develop. You ready? She mixes his medicine in everything he eats. <gasps> Open up. Good job. Ooh, it's cold. Because watch his eyes again. And see, they're just constantly seizing, eating, talking. The only hopeful treatment Anna has found is in a medicine made from marijuana called Charlotte's Web which is beginning to show real results in some children with severe epilepsy. No, it's not a miracle drug. It's not a cure, and there are cases where it's not going to work. But how could you pass up that opportunity to give your child life? Basically, we're giving him life. But to do that, the Watsons have to move to Colorado. Oh, yeah, that'll go in between. Now. As you can see, and I still don't know if it's all going to fit what's left. Move those boxes. Move those boxes. Where the treatment is legal. I don't think it's really hit me yet. The bill to legalize medicines made from marijuana was only introduced in North Carolina's General Assembly recently. But even if it does pass, it's not going to instantly be set up. Um, we're not going to be able to get it tomorrow. It's going to take time. And may not legalize the particular medicine that Preston needs. You know, we've been so involved in Preston's life, you know, from the very beginning. It's hard. And the progress slow and the victories too few. Yeah, I mean, I know what it's like when he says a sentence. I mean, the world stops. I mean, it's like, that's insane, it's insane. Can you hear that? But, but then he, he never repeats it. That's the roof. So that's why they are packing up and moving to Colorado, where the medicines and other options are currently available. We'll see what we can make fit. The rooms that were once their life. Yay, Sydney. Again, let's get our medicine. Are emptied as they head toward an uncertain future. And Anna Watson won't let herself dream too much. You don't want to get ahead of yourself or think things that might not happen. But it would be wonderful if it did, absolutely. Bob Buckley. The a normal 12-year-old. Fox 8 News.